Well, it's just about time to get started. It's obvious that my opponent decided that this wasn't an important event. Uh, of course, I was here on time. Sorry, it took so long. Somebody deflated my tires, so I had to inflate them. I guess we're playing dirty. I well, I certainly would be careful when I drove home today, Scotch, because uh, every now and then brake lines can get mm. tampered with. Well, just watch that me. mail. You never know when anthrax is going to end up mm. in your mail. Let me just sort through my notes here and Are we... see what we've got. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. All right. And I'd like to say thank you for having us here. I also off. would like to thank you for but having us. But I thank us. you first. But my thank is more sincere, so. All right. Well, now that Scotch is here, we can get started. JJ will be going first today because he parked closest to the building. So, first question. Why should you be chosen as the HPR's best radio DJ? You know, that's an excellent question, Britta, and I'd like to answer that question with another question, if I may. Why should Scotch be High Plains Reader's best of the best, best radio, radio DJ? Well, I can answer that with three reasons. Number one, I have the looks of a Kennedy, I have the integrity of a Lincoln, and I also have the appetite of a Gein. And with that said, my voice has also been known to cause sterility in mice. Second question, what qualities do you think put you ahead of others in the race? JJ. Uh, I can lift objects of 50 pounds or greater over my head. I, can do that. Uh, I recently got into the radio business, so I'm not one of those old fogies who's going to keep harping on about old radio ways. I'm about the future. Uh, words like internet and buzz and fuel efficiency are really important. I have actually got the best hair in radio, and I've been known to brush at least three times a week. My dental hygiene is very adequate, and I have won the prestigious Chuck Woolery Radio Award a whopping one time. Third question. Give a specific example of a time when your radio skills proved to be superior. Ah, excellent question, Britta, and I'd like to answer that with this. I hold in my hands an envelope here containing nude photos of my competitor engaging in what's known as a baked bean party. And I feel free to give those out to anybody who wants to see them. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of a baked bean party. I know that my skills came in very handy when I uh, came ac across a burning baby uh, from a <laughs> brush fire that I had started, and I had to call out with my best radio voice, Junjara, Kitara, Kintana, to my jungle friends who whisked in, and that translates to, uh, bring me a clean towel because I've got burning baby all over me. Again, naked photos, baked bean party. Burning mm. baby. Now if it's okay with you two, we'll do some audience submitted questions. This first one is for JJ. This question is from Tim R., a regular rock listener. How can JJ be nominated for best radio DJ? He's been on air less than three months. He doesn't seem qualified. How can he be the best when he still has so much to learn? Hmm, that's a very good question, and I like, uh, I value Tim's uh, uh, question, and uh, I'd like to uh, take time to answer this question. And uh, because it's a very important question, you see. And a lot of people like try and run around and answer questions without actually answering the question. And so I feel like that uh, pretty much sums it up. And this next one looks like it's for Scotch from Mike W. Scotch has been around for over 20 years and yet he still fumbles his words. If he is in fact the best radio DJ, shouldn't he be perfect by now? I don't feel the need to answer that. I don't answer to him. Okay. Don't answer to him. Here's another one for JJ from Anonymous. I think the HPR's best DJ should be someone with solid moral values. Is it or is it not true that JJ Gordon once stole a stuffed horse from a convenience store for a drunk friend not to be named? It is absolutely true. Uh, and I think that shows that my, what my character truly is, ladies and gentlemen. I think it shows that when I have a friend who's in need, a friend who's so inebriated that she's falling out of her bikini top at the time, that I would do anything to uh, give her something to take her mind off of the fact that literally everybody on the Otter Tail River just saw her jugs. <laughs> and this last one we'll take is for Scotch from April O. Scotch has the maturity level of a five-year-old. Who thinks a 50-year-old making fart jokes is funny? In my opinion, it's sad, and why would we want him to represent our city as the best radio DJ? 
Well, you know, April, that's, April is one of my favorite names, and maybe we could uh, discuss that further. You can uh, look me up at my Twitter account. That's sexyman at bakebeanparty.com, and uh, we could discuss it, uh, maybe get together over, over a plate of baked beans. And that will conclude today's debate. I'd like to say one last thing. Uh, thank you, Scotch, for oh. being a worthy opponent. I also would like to thank JJ for being a worthy opponent. And just, uh, if you don't want to vote for me, vote for Scotch. That's if awesome. you don't want to vote for Scotch, vote for me. Just don't vote for anybody else. I think that's pretty That's simple. my sentiments as well.